insider trading is rampant. That's the startling disclosure from the recently retired member of the Securities Appellate Tribunal, SSN Murthy. I spoke with Mr. Murthy earlier on the courtroom, who's also served, of course, as chairman of CBDT, and I asked him whether the SAT has stopped functioning altogether with the bench lying empty and the government yet to replace all the members, who, like Mr. Murthy, demitted office in 2012. We can't say the site working has collapsed. It's only a matter of time. The government has taken its steps for appointing a new member and some steps to get the presiding officer. So it's only a matter of time. And uh, we can't say the functioning of SAT has collapsed. The emergent, urgent matters are being taken care of by the existing member, even though he is functioning from Delhi. But sooner, hopefully, it will be filled up. Are you being too polite to the government? No. The fact uh, of the matter, sir, is no, no. that here is an authority which today is not even being able to list matters. And why am I going on persisting on this? I'm saying this because I have closely seen the evolution of SAT. It has emerged as an institution which everybody out there in the market respects, believes it can go there for justice. Today, to reach a situation like this, do you think it was avoidable? It could have been avoided, but maybe the government had its own uh, constraints, mm -hmm. which stood in the way, and the uh, government has taken steps, and I cannot say, uh, again, to repeat, mm. uh, that uh, uh, SAT has collapsed. It will be revived, it will be functioning, maybe it's a matter of time. So... Uh, I can't subscribe to the view that SAT has really collapsed. But you subscribe to the view yes. that it has become dysfunctional. dysfunctional? No, no, no. It's only a matter of time. I know that uh, we are not to discuss individual issues, but I cannot help but talk about one issue. And the reason I'm talking about it is because I think it is unprecedented in the history of India's capital markets that you actually passed an order against an entity where you directed that entity to give back to investors thousands of crores of rupees. I'm talking about the whole Sahara matter. Was that your biggest challenge? And what was the message that you would want to send out to investors out there? Yes, it was a big challenge. And luckily, at that point of time, the bench was full. We had the presiding officer. We, both the members were there. And uh, after going through all the material, after listening to all the learned counsel for both the parties, we thought we concluded that we should send a signal to the market. Because this SEBI Act is meant for market regulation. It should watch the market and if a misdoing is being done in a camouflaged manner, that should be brought out. This SEBI has done. So we endorsed it. And naturally, as you know, the Supreme Court has also accepted that point of view. So our main object was uh, something which could be controlled by SEBI has been taken away by those entities in a very uh, artificial manner, saying that they are being controlled by some other agency and not by SEBI. And luckily, SEBI steps into, stepped into the picture at the correct time and brought out an order. And so naturally we thought this should send us a, uh, as a signal to the wrongdoers in the market. Do you believe our capital markets from a regulatory point are healthy and what would your one or two suggestions be both for SEBI as well as for the evolution of SAT? See, capital market regulation as it is in India is very good. But compared to the speed with which the market operates, perhaps SEBI or government can't move. Because that happens in any situation. If you take any financial statute, the uh, concealment or evasion or avoidance, whatever you may call it, that moves very fast as compared to the government or regulatory mechanism. So that gap will always be there. But SEBI has been successful in unearthing a number of good cases where uh, crores of money has been uh, siphoned off and mischief has been done and they have taken steps. So, as such, regulatory law in India is quite good. But one area where I think we have to lay more emphasis is insider trading. 
insider trading is very rampant and people in the market they know which are the areas how fast it is happening and how they manipulate but whereas for a regulator this comes to notice only after a certain period of time if you can reduce this gap and identify cases and give a decision as fast as possible compared to the us where rajal apanam case has been decided if that step can be taken we will be moving in a vast um, very fast direction in proper market regulation why are we unable to do it sir if you ask sebi and since you've been also in several enforcement functions during your career sebi's basic plea to say that at least let me get call records for that it has been begging the government insider trading is difficult to prove you would agree with that so on the one hand you have this problem that the regulator says please don't tie my hands if you want me to go and catch on the other hand many cases of insider trading which have gone to the appellate authority have been struck down how can it be better see you made a very important point here sir that it is the biggest problem and it is fairly rampant yes. and we haven't really seen any big order coming in or any prosecution happening in that sense where, where do you think the problem lies see if a few cases can be picked up they can be decided fast and a few people can be prosecuted on that score then i think a message will be sent but you know the indian situation where we are prosecution takes a lot of time hmm. so any amount of monetary punishment that people may be prepared to pay whereas a threat of prosecution that hangs heavily on a wrong doer so even the penalties sir the 5 lakh 10 lakh we've seen some cases how's that a deterrent no that depends on the case there are cases where sebi has imposed heavy very heavy penalties running into crores some cases okay that is uh, commensurate with their functioning their market position their financial position they might have imposed a lower penalty doesn't matter but if a few cases can be prosecuted and the wrong doers punished in time i think message can go more seriously in the market i want to go back to a conversation i had with you many many years ago and i remember that time you told me and the view that there was perhaps in your department especially that it's it's much better to go and catch some big fish yeah. rather than going and harassing yeah, yeah. some small time yes, yes, yes. Uh, people do you think that's something that sebi should do as well sebi is doing that the big fish sebi is doing that sahara itself is a classic case that taken away yes, yes. i agree that that was and they are, they have done the ipo scam case where a number of big entities have been caught so we can't say but you have to keep a balance insider trading is rampant says the recently retired member of the securities appellate tribunal